Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're diving into an incredibly common issue. 9 Reasons You're Struggling to Lose Belly Fat This topic is not just relevant, but crucial, if you're on a fitness journey. It's about understanding why shedding those stubborn belly pounds can feel like an uphill battle, and to help you grasp this better, we're gonna delve into 9 scientifically backed reasons that explain this phenomenon. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an enlightening ride. Stay tuned as we uncover these 9 reasons. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The first reason you're struggling to lose belly fat might be your diet, specifically, the consumption of processed foods. Now, you might be wondering what's the big deal about processed foods? Well, let's delve into it. According to a study published in the British Medical Journal, or BMJ for short, there's a strong link between the consumption of ultra-processed foods and weight gain. These foods, often high in sugar, fat, and salt, can lead to an increased calorie intake. They're designed to be irresistibly tasty, which can make you eat more than you need, causing a surplus of calories that your body stores as fat. And guess where your body loves to store that extra fat? You guessed it, right around your belly. It's not just about the calories, though. Processed foods often lack fiber and essential nutrients, which can leave you feeling unsatisfied after meals and lead to overeating. So if you're consuming a lot of processed foods, you might be feeding your belly fat without even realizing it. The first step towards losing belly fat could be reducing your intake of processed foods. Another hidden culprit behind stubborn belly fat? Lack of sleep. It's not just about the number of hours on your clock. Quality rest matters too. When you're sleep deprived, your body craves energy, often leading to late night snacking or overeating. But it's not just about the munchies. Research from the University of Chicago has found that lack of sleep can reduce your fat cell's ability to respond to insulin, a hormone that regulates energy storage and use. And it doesn't stop there. A study from the University of Pennsylvania found that people who were awake late into the night consumed more calories than those who got a full night's sleep. These additional calories, if not burned off, can lead to weight gain, particularly around the belly. So it's not just about eating less and moving more. If you're not getting enough shut-eye, your body's metabolism can go off the rails, making it harder to shed those extra pounds. So remember, adequate sleep is not just for your mind, but for your waistline too. Stress is another factor that can make losing belly fat difficult. When we're stressed, our bodies go into fight-or-flight mode, releasing a rush of adrenaline along with cortisol, a hormone designed to replenish our body's energy stores. But when we're chronically stressed, our bodies start storing this energy as fat, particularly around the belly. A study published in Obesity Reviews further supports this. Their findings suggest that chronic stress may lead to weight gain, especially in the belly area. This is because stress stimulates the adrenal glands to produce cortisol, known as the stress hormone. High levels of cortisol increase appetite and drive cravings for comfort foods, usually high in fat, sugar, and calories. Here's the catch. This isn't a license to stress eat. Rather, it's a call to manage your stress more effectively. This might mean taking up yoga, meditating, going for a walk, or even just taking a few deep breaths when things get tough. Finding healthy ways to manage stress can be key to losing that stubborn belly fat. Now let's look at three more reasons, lack of physical activity, aging, and genetics. We're diving deeper into the rabbit hole of belly fat, and these three factors are significant contributors. Firstly, let's talk about lack of physical activity. It's no secret that our bodies need movement to stay fit and healthy. When we don't get enough exercise, our bodies store excess calories as fat, often around the belly. According to a study published in the Journal of Physical Activity and Health, adults who engaged in regular physical activity were less likely to have excess belly fat. So, if you're spending hours sitting at your desk or on the couch, it might be time to introduce some more movement into your day. Next, we have aging. The aging process can be a cruel mistress, especially when it comes to our waistlines. As we age, our metabolism slows down and our body composition changes. Muscle mass decreases and fat percentage increases, often accumulating around the midsection. A study in the International Journal of Obesity found that, even without an increase in calorie intake, aging can lead to increased abdominal fat. Unfortunately, we can't turn back the hands of time, but we can make healthy lifestyle choices to combat its effects. Then, we have genetics. Your genes can play a significant role in your body shape and where you store fat. Some people might be genetically predisposed to carry excess weight in the abdominal area. 
Research published in Nature Genetics reveals that our genes can indeed influence obesity, particularly fat distribution. It's like the lottery you never wanted to win. While we can't control aging or genetics, increasing physical activity can make a significant difference. It's all about playing the hand we're dealt in the best way possible. So get moving and give your body the fighting chance it deserves. Our final three reasons are hormonal changes, wrong workout choices, and excessive alcohol consumption. First up, let's dive into hormonal changes. As we age, our bodies go through numerous hormonal shifts. For instance, during menopause, a decrease in estrogen can cause fat to redistribute from the hips and thighs to the belly. This isn't your fault. It's simply a natural part of life. But being aware of these changes can help us take proactive steps, like adjusting our diet and exercise routines to counterbalance these shifts. Next, we venture into the realm of workout choices. Ever heard of the phrase, work smarter, not harder? It applies to your workouts too. While it's great to get your heart rate up, if you're only doing cardio and neglecting strength training, you might be sabotaging your efforts. Strength training helps build muscle, and muscle burns more calories at rest than fat does. So, incorporating strength training into your routine can actually help you burn more calories overall. Lastly, we come to excessive alcohol consumption. Now don't get us wrong. A glass of wine or beer occasionally won't hurt. But excessive drinking, that's a different story. Alcohol is high in calories and low in nutrients. Plus, when we drink, our bodies prioritize metabolizing alcohol over burning fat. This means that the more we drink, the less fat we're likely to burn. Additionally, alcohol can increase our appetite and make us more likely to reach for unhealthy snacks, contributing further to belly fat. Understanding these factors can help us make better choices in our weight loss journey. So let's keep these in mind as we strive to make healthier decisions, and remember, every step, no matter how small, is a step in the right direction. So there you have it, nine scientifically backed reasons why you might be struggling to lose belly fat. From eating too many processed foods, not getting enough sleep, stress, lack of physical activity, aging, genetics, hormonal changes, wrong workout choices, to drinking too much alcohol, these factors could be the culprits behind your weight loss struggles. Remember, understanding these reasons is the first step towards making effective changes. It's always a good idea to consult with healthcare professionals for personalized advice. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to know what happens to your body when you stop eating fast food, watch the video on your screen next. Don't forget to check out our calorie and protein calculator in the description to kickstart your fitness journey. Thanks for watching. Thanks for